Unveiling the World of Bertrand Russell, Surprising Insights Bertrand Russell, a luminary in both philosophy and literature, was honored with the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1950. His award was a testament to the breadth and significance of his writings, which spanned an array of topics, from social critique to the underpinnings of logic, showcasing his versatile intellect. As a founding figure of analytic philosophy, Russell profoundly shaped the philosophical terrain of the 20th century. His work not only redefined philosophical methods but also introduced rigorous logical analysis into the heart of philosophical inquiry. This approach has left an indelible mark on how philosophy is practiced and understood today. Together with Alfred North Whitehead, Russell embarked on the ambitious project of Principia Mathematica. Their collaboration aimed to establish a solid foundation for mathematics based entirely on logic. Though the work was complex and dense, its attempt to derive mathematical truths from logical axioms was groundbreaking. Russell's commitment to peace and anti-war activism distinguished him throughout his life, especially during the tumultuous times of World War I and the Vietnam War. His vocal opposition to war and advocacy for peace underscored a moral philosophy that championed human life and rational discourse over conflict. His pacifist stance, however, came at a personal cost. In 1916, Russell faced dismissal from his lecturing position at Trinity College, Cambridge, a move that stemmed directly from his outspoken pacifist activities. This incident marked the beginning of a series of professional and personal challenges he would face due to his unwavering commitment to peace. Bertrand Russell's commitment to pacifism led to his imprisonment in 1918, a turbulent period that did not deter his intellectual pursuits. During this time, he authored Introduction to Mathematical Philosophy, a work that exemplified his ability to produce profound scholarly contributions even under the most challenging conditions. This book aimed to make the complex realms of logic and mathematics accessible to the layman, showcasing Russell's unique talent for bridging the gap between academic scholarship and public understanding. His advocacy for peace extended beyond the written word, as Russell took a bold stance against nuclear weapons. In 1955, he chaired the first Pugwash Conference, an international gathering focused on reducing the threat of nuclear warfare. This initiative highlighted Russell's foresight and dedication to global peace, reflecting his deep concern for humanity's future in the face of burgeoning nuclear capabilities. Russell's life was marked by significant social and political engagement, which often put him at odds with prevailing norms. In 1963, he established the Bertrand Russell Peace Foundation, aiming to further his commitment to disarmament and international peace. The foundation served as a platform for Russell to advocate for non-violent resolutions to conflicts, embodying his lifelong pursuit of justice and harmony. Throughout his life, Russell was a prolific writer, contributing over 70 books and countless essays and letters to the discourse on a myriad of subjects. His writings covered an extensive range of topics, from philosophy and logic to social criticism and political activism. Russell's ability to articulate complex ideas in an accessible manner made him one of the most influential public intellectuals of the 20th century. Russell's critical perspective on organized religion was most famously encapsulated in his essay, Why I Am Not a Christian. In this and other works, he challenged conventional beliefs and institutions, advocating for a rational and empirical approach to understanding the world. His skepticism towards religion was part of a broader critique of societal norms, reflecting his commitment to free thought and inquiry. Bertrand Russell, a titan of logic and reason, boldly critiqued organized religion through his seminal essay, Why I Am Not a Christian. His skepticism wasn't just academic, it was a reflection of his unwavering commitment to seeking truth. Through his incisive arguments, Russell challenged the very foundations of religious dogma, advocating for a life guided by reason rather than faith. His intellectual bravery wasn't without consequence. In 1916, Russell faced professional ostracization when Trinity College, Cambridge, dismissed him from his lecturing position. This action was a direct result of his pacifist stance during World War I, showcasing the high price he paid for his principles. Russell's dismissal underscored the era's intolerance for dissenting voices, especially those challenging the status quo as profoundly as he did. Further solidifying his commitment to peace, Russell found himself imprisoned in 1918. His crime was his unwavering pacifism in the face of global conflict. 
It was during this time of isolation that his intellectual prowess shone brightly, giving birth to the introduction to mathematical philosophy. This work not only underscored his philosophical genius, but also his resilience, turning adversity into an opportunity for scholarly contribution. Russell's advocacy didn't wane with age. In 1955, he chaired the first Pugwash Conference, an international gathering focused on nuclear disarmament. This initiative was a testament to his enduring commitment to global peace and his belief in the power of dialogue to resolve the era's most pressing existential threat. His life, marked by profound intellectual contributions and unwavering activism, saw Russell living through the reigns of five British monarchs. This unique vantage point allowed him to witness, firsthand, the seismic shifts in technology, society, and politics. Yet, through it all, Russell remained a steadfast beacon of progress, reason, and peace. Bertrand Russell, born into the British aristocracy, found himself in a unique position that allowed him to influence public affairs significantly. His grandfather, serving as prime minister twice, ensured Russell grew up in a household where political and philosophical discussions were the norm, shaping his future endeavors in social and academic spheres. Despite his noble lineage, Russell embraced socialist ideals, advocating for a society where wealth and resources were more equitably distributed. His socialist beliefs were not just theoretical, he actively engaged in political discourse and writings that sought to challenge and change the status quo, demonstrating his commitment to social justice. Russell's experimental approach to education was exemplified in the founding of the Beacon Hill School with his second wife, Dora. The school was a manifestation of his beliefs in creative freedom and the importance of nurturing a critical and free-thinking mindset among the young, a stark contrast to the traditional education system of his time. His contributions to artificial intelligence and computer science, though less known, were profound. Russell's work laid the foundational stones for future explorations in these fields, showing his remarkable ability to influence and foresee the significance of technological advancements in shaping human understanding and progress. As a pioneer in the field of symbolic logic, Russell significantly impacted both mathematics and philosophy. His work not only advanced these disciplines but also bridged them, demonstrating the interconnectedness of human knowledge and the importance of logical reasoning in understanding and solving complex problems. Bertrand Russell's The History of Western Philosophy stands as a monumental achievement in literature, earning him a U.S. National Book Award. This work, weaving through the complex narratives of Western thought, showcases Russell's unparalleled ability to distill and communicate philosophical ideas, making them accessible and engaging to a broad audience. Russell was no stranger to controversy, particularly regarding his views on sexual liberation and open marriage. At a time when such topics were taboo, he courageously advocated for freedom in personal relationships. This stance, though controversial, underscored his commitment to individual liberty and rational inquiry, challenging societal norms and sparking debate. Living until the age of 97, Russell's longevity afforded him a unique perspective on the evolving landscape of the 20th century. Remaining intellectually active until his final days, he continued to contribute to various fields, embodying a life dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge and understanding. Among his many ments, Ludwig Wittgenstein stands out as a testament to Russell's influence in philosophy. Russell's mentorship of Wittgenstein helped shape the latter into a leading figure in analytic philosophy. This relationship highlights Russell's role, not only as a thinker, but as a teacher, guiding the next generation. Russell's philosophical work, encompassing ethics, logic, the philosophy of language, and epistemology, showcases his wide-ranging intellect. His contributions to these fields have left an indelible mark, shaping not only the discourse of his time but also the foundational structures of contemporary thought. Bertrand Russell, with his unparalleled eloquence and intellectual prowess, utilized public debates as a platform to dissect and disseminate critical social issues. His voice, undeterred by controversy, reverberated through the halls of academia and the public arena, inviting society to engage with complex, often uncomfortable, truths. In the realm of education, Russell was more than just a critic, he was a visionary advocate for reform. He championed a pedagogy that emphasized critical thinking and freedom, challenging the traditional, rote learning systems. His ideas were ahead of his time, advocating for an educational landscape that nurtured independent thought and creativity. 
Russell's commitment to nuclear disarmament was not just theoretical but actively practiced. He founded the Committee of 100, a non-violent protest organization, marking his transition from philosopher to activist. This group orchestrated some of the most significant demonstrations of the era, spotlighting the existential threat of nuclear weapons. His essays and lectures on happiness and love struck a chord with the public, showcasing his ability to delve into the intricacies of human nature. Russell's insights into these subjects were both profound and accessible, offering valuable lessons on living a fulfilled life amidst the chaos of the 20th century. However, Russell's unconventional views on marriage and sexuality ignited considerable controversy, casting him as a maverick in the eyes of many. His advocacy for sexual liberation and open marriage challenged societal norms, making him a figure of both admiration and contention. Despite the backlash, Russell remained steadfast in his beliefs, advocating for a society rooted in freedom and understanding. Bertrand Russell, a luminary in philosophy and mathematics, also deeply explored the realms of happiness and love. His essays and lectures on these subjects are among his most cherished contributions. They offer profound insights into human nature, providing a stark contrast to his more analytical works. Russell's ability to distill complex emotions and states of being into accessible wisdom has endeared him to a broad audience, showcasing his versatility as a thinker. Despite his groundbreaking intellectual achievements, Russell faced significant backlash for his unconventional views on marriage and sexuality. He advocated for sexual liberation and open marriage, ideas that were highly controversial at the time. This stance led to considerable public and professional criticism, yet Russell remained unyielded in his convictions. His commitment to discussing these taboo subjects paved the way for more open conversations in the future. Russell's influence extended into the realm of psychology, particularly impacting the emerging field of analytical psychology. His exploration of human behavior, love, and happiness provided valuable insights that transcended the boundaries of philosophy and mathematics. This interdisciplinary approach showcased Russell's profound understanding of the human condition, making his work relevant to psychologists and philosophers alike. Throughout his life, Russell faced academic and political persecution for his beliefs and activism. However, his steadfast adherence to his principles showcased his remarkable resilience. Whether it was advocating for peace, challenging societal norms about marriage, or promoting free thought in education, Russell's commitment to his values in the face of adversity was unwavering. His life serves as a testament to the power of standing firm in one's beliefs. Russell's autobiography, published in three volumes, offers a detailed account of his diverse and impactful life. Through his own words, readers gain insight into the evolution of his philosophical thoughts, his personal struggles, and his achievements. This comprehensive work not only enriches our understanding of Russell as a philosopher but also as a human being, navigating the complexities of life with intellect and emotion. Bertrand Russell, a towering intellect of the 20th century, often found himself at the center of controversy. His outspoken views and lifestyle choices stirred public and professional backlash, painting him as a complex figure. Despite his contributions to various fields, his unconventional stances on issues like marriage and sexuality sparked considerable debate, showcasing the friction between his ideas and the societal norms of his time. In 1949, Russell's vast intellectual contributions were recognized through the awarding of the Order of Merit. This honor signified acknowledgement from the highest levels of British society, celebrating his pioneering work in philosophy and his commitment to liberal thought. Despite the controversies, this accolade affirmed the enduring value of his contributions to intellectual and public life. Russell's foundational work in logic and analytical philosophy has left an indelible mark on the field. His efforts laid the groundwork for much of contemporary philosophical thought, particularly in the realms of mathematics and logic. His intellectual legacy is characterized by a relentless pursuit of clarity and precision, principles that continue to influence philosophers and logicians today. The Bertrand Russell Archives at McMaster University serve as a testament to his prolific career, housing a vast collection of his personal and professional papers. This extensive archive provides scholars and enthusiasts with unparalleled insights into Russell's thoughts, works, and the evolution of his philosophical ideas. 
it stands as a vital resource for those looking to understand the depth and breadth of his influence. Russell's life and work continue to inspire and provoke discussion among those interested in philosophy, logic, mathematics, and social activism. His willingness to tackle controversial issues head-on and his commitment to principle, regardless of personal cost, resonate in today's global context. Russell's legacy is not just in the ideas he left behind but in the spirited public discourse he championed, encouraging future generations to question, reflect, and engage with the pressing issues of their times.